Tag KDD friends, I am Sam, the Munich PhD student who will be presenting Skinny Dip at KDD 2016. So Skinny Dip is a fresh approach to the broad problem of clustering in unsupervised exploratory data mining. Let's jump straight in with a look at a synthetic 2D data set. Here we can see the cluster structure is quite clean and clear, not much global clutter to it. In our work we're interested in the case of extreme clutter, so can we still extract our cluster structure when there are 20, 40, 60, 80, up to 90% noise in our data? We show in our work this kind of situation is quite difficult for existing clustering techniques. The technique we're proposing, Skinny Dip, is able to give us the result that we're looking for. So how does it work? The answer is that we're exploiting a relatively unknown gem from statistics called Hartigan's Dip Test. This is a test that takes a sample from a continuous random variable and tells us whether or not it's unimodal. To get the basic idea, let's have a look at this histogram, which is a typical sample from a global uniform clutter distribution. Here the dip will tell us that this is unimodal because there's no significant evidence to suggest otherwise. If we now add a Gaussian here, the dip will still say that this is unimodal. If we add a second cluster, like a beta over here, because the dip is non-parametric and we can do this, the dip will now say that this is multimodal, and importantly it will give us the location of the most significant modal interval. So the dip is a tool that will answer two questions for us. Is the distribution multimodal? And two, where's the most prominent modal interval? So, in a nutshell, what we've done with Skinny Dip is to use this tool in a recursive approach to find all the modal intervals in both the univariate and multivariate cases, which gives us quite an interesting way to approach the task of clustering. So I invite you to join me for a Skinny Dip in San Francisco. Optionally bring the swimming attire as dictated by your culture. In my case, it's Lederhosen. Bye for now.